So there are a lot of great templates out there you can grab for Notion. I've included a lot in this course. Uh, you'll see most of those coming up in the examples. Uh, but there's plenty of other ones out there. I encourage you to a large degree to build things yourself so you understand how they work and customize them. But sometimes it's just easier or faster to grab someone else's template to give you a head start. So here's how that works. If you find a template you like, like we found this remote stand-ups template here, we can click on that, click on where it actually says remote stand-ups, and now we're on their page on Notion. If we want to take this for ourselves, we just hit duplicate, and they've made it where we can duplicate it. We're not stealing anything here if they've made it public to duplicate. Where do I want to put it? We'll put it in my Micmail workspace. So it's duplicating it over there, and now here it is. It's in mine. At this point, it's no longer even connected to theirs. So if I, any changes I make are mine, and that's the beautiful thing with this. I can say, okay, this, was, this thing was close, but it wasn't quite what I needed. But now I can customize it to make it be whatever I need it to be. Um, so I can go into this template. I'm not even sure what all's in here, but you can see it's got David and Corey. So you know, change that to, I guess we have to do a little bit different. I have to add different participants and stuff, it looks like. But I can customize it to fit me now. I don't have to use it exactly the way it came. I can adjust that template to be whatever I want. So there's a lot of good templates out there to give you a head start. And again, especially for something relatively straightforward, you're often better building it yourself so you understand what you have, but certainly lots of great places to get you started. And again, I'll share a lot of my templates in the examples below so you can grab some of those as well.